Respect the Pack is kind of the meaning behind what reclaiming means. Respect the Pack came out of the tunnel having the inward painted and that's getting published in the brick, which used to be our physical traditions booklet. The theme of it's just been super prevalent, especially with, with our times now. I think reclaiming is a really special thing, especially for marginalized communities. So this year, we wanted to do a different mural. So we have seven artists out here today that are designing one single letter that represents unity, diversity, and inclusivity for them. And it just showcases so many different outlooks here at NC State and what respect the pack means to them. I guess that's what inspired me is all the different people at NC State and how there's not really one picture perfect person to depict the whole university and like our student body as, as one. So I decided to do many different colors and kinds. My design is a modified LGBT flag. So the rainbow flag is pretty standard. A lot of people know about it, but a lot of people might not know what the um, transgender flag looks like or that transgender individuals as well as people of color are often kind of left out of the LGBT community. So this modified flag has some stripes to represent these POC and transgender individuals who are often left out. I chose to do the BLM movement and the LGBTQ movement. Since I got the S, I wanted to do like an infinity design to kind of represent that like we're we're all one like conscious or we're all one species forever. Intersectionality and the LGBTQ community and to show that they are together, that they do support each other, is to put the hands grasping each other. Like, I got you. My letter specifically, I am highlighting pieces of legislation that student government has passed. I'm working towards diversity on campus. My design, I wanted to encompass the LGBT community and people of color into my design because I feel like they're sometimes underrepresented in the community of NC State. So I just wanted to be like, you're here, you're accepted, we love you. I was wanting to incorporate some of the way that I do art with the way that a lot of these um, murals have been done. Mm -hmm. So I ended up going with, I'm gonna do all of this out and then put a grid over it and do splatter paint. And then when I take the tape off, it should be able to see some of this in the background. And then I'm gonna have a mixture of the fists and the wolf bears on the bottom. Tando, she's a really big Black Lives Matter advocate and she led a, led a lot of protests after George Floyd was killed by what we all know. And I was just really inspired by her and I used one of her pictures on her Instagram as a reference image. And I'm gonna put a lot of text that like, something that she really believes in is to, like, to learn, unlearn what you have learned. So that's what my inspiration is. For me, it just means making sure that I'm being inclusive and welcoming to everyone and making sure that any of the actions that I do throughout my day are inviting and welcoming.